another fight that we thought was going to happen we didn't get was Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. What is your gauge on Tyson Fury and how he plays games on social media? He, he puts out contracts. He says they ain't taking it. Do you think it's making him look bad by doing all these things? I think it's just you just don't, you just never know what's real. You know what I'm saying? Like I think because I think I've been following I've been following Usyk probably the last five six years. For probably like the last five years, I've been following him because I just I saw a random video of him one time like years ago, and um, he was about to fight, and this dude like pushed him and did some crazy stuff, and he just like laughed at the dude, like he didn't react or nothing. He just like right. had these big eyes and started laughing, and then when they fought, he just like the dude up. So I was like, <laughs> I followed him after that, and this is like way it was like years and years ago, and um. I followed him on Instagram, and when I started following him, it was like all his posts was like, you know, like Ukrainian like texts. I'm like, dang, I don't even. I want to hear this dude talk. Or have. So then it would be like random stuff in English, and I would be like, you know, watching his fights, and you could see that he kind of was a character. You know what I'm saying? Like he was a professional. I like I liked who he was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, just like. Uh, it's just like no shame to 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 him. He just do what he do. He show up correct. Um, and you just see he has true belief. You know what I mean? He has real belief and real skills and real ability. And like, it's unwavering. From the first time he fought Joshua, he came in there and just handled his business. Did the rematch, handled his business again. Fought Derek Chitora in that small ass ring getting hunted around the ring. He got moved around, did what he had to do, won that fight. Um, Tony Bellew, he knocked him out. You know, like, he just kind of handled his business. He boxed well. He got better power than people give him credit for. Um, Whenever he gets hit or get hurt or whatever, like, you never see it. It Like, man, he getting tired. Or, man, he kind of, like, fading a little bit. And then he turn up a couple more notches. Like, he lasts the whole time. So, like... I think Fury saw that same thing. I think he sees the same thing. Like, this is not, this ain't one of those dudes where, you know, your slickness and your skills is just going to get it done because this dude can move, this dude can box. He got good enough power. He got good enough size to where, you know, he can touch you. Um, I think he knew that it just wasn't going to be an easy task. You know what I'm saying? And then the fact that Usyk was like, look, I'll take, what is it, 70-30 split or something like that? And he was yeah. like, look, all you got to do is donate to the Ukraine. Like, it was like when when I heard that, I'm like, how does this fight, how does it not happen at this point? You know what I'm saying? It was like, this dude, just like, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't, to me, that's where it didn't line up, where I saw, you know, Fury's video where he was just like, you know, you a piece of you don't want to fight and all this other stuff. I was like, what could have possibly happened? <laughs> what could have possibly happened for this fight not to, to be happening? Like, what could he have done? You know what I'm saying? That's where I felt like it was kind of confusing. And I don't take uh, Usyk for the type of person that would like, get to the table and be like, nope, I don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already making these type of like... But then again, I don't really know what's going on behind closed doors, but I, I feel like, you know, I've been following Usyk enough so where I can take his word for if he say 70, 30, whatever, you know, if you just donate to this, you know, after the fight or whatever. So I don't think, um, I think Usyk really want to fight. Do you think Fury doesn't want to fight? Like what? what? Here, here's my I don't thing. think that he doesn't, I don't think that he, I, he's too great to, to, for me to believe he doesn't want to fight. Um, I'm not sure what it was. Um, but I just I believe what Usyk I believe he I believe what he put out there you know what I'm saying just based off of what what I've seen from him you know over a long period of time Um, I could also see Fury possibly wanting to fight Anthony Joshua just cause how big of a fight it is you know what I'm saying it's a big fight and you know, right now, I, saw, I think I saw an interview him talking about, like, I'm trying to, trying I'm to trying cash to cash out. out. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, he fight Usyk, it's a bigger threat. 
Like, because he can actually, like, you're not going to go out there and he's not going to be like how Dillian White was or Chisora was, where they just kind of like just just big dudes just trying to land, you know, where they're going to be there for you to just land the uppercut or that straight right hand and, you know, whatever. This dude going to be slippery. He going to be jabbing you to the, to the body. He going to be punching you in the face, like getting shots in there, punching at these weird angles. Like he he not gonna stop, you know, he's gonna keep moving and that's not that's uncommon for heavyweights, you know. So he's actually more of like a cruiserweight, probably can make light heavyweight. Yeah. Um so like I think it'll be I think he sees the challenge and it's like high risk, but the reward, like it probably wouldn't be that big of a fight, you know what I'm saying? Like especially if he was to fight AJ or you know, it was somebody else I was thinking of. Um, Joe Joyce? Joe Joyce, I think that'd be a, a bigger fight probably too. Um, so I think it probably has something to do with, with that. And but it, it's for the undisputed heavyweight championship. Like that's legacy. Tyson Fury always talks about legacy. And for him to, to skirt this fight, you can have be the fir- first person in the heavyweight division to hold all four belts. It's a little confusing the way that Tyson Fury moves because it doesn't seem like he wants that. It is confusing, but I, like I said, I, I trust the way that Usyk operates. Like he said what he said. And then even after that, I haven't seen him say anything. It's just like, all right. <laughs> like, like he's not, I feel like when you're explaining, you're losing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And he's not explain. he said what he said. And it's like, all right, you know, I'm not going to keep talking about it. You know what I'm saying? I still want to fight, but it's really, he hasn't said anything. So 